What's up, guys? It's Eric. I'm in the studio. Uh, just real quick, I just want to show you uh, this this new uh, this beautiful chassis from from uh, Mitch from M2C Racing. This is a uh, Outcast uh, Typhon uh, racing chassis. Uh, it's three millimeter, uh, 7075. Uh, it's been it's been cut out um, on the inside here to uh, lighten it up. It's uh, about 29 grams lighter than stock, uh, so which you know should definitely help out with with the weight. And um, but we're going to be uh, testing this chassis out under some bashing, just you know just to see how it holds up. Um, it's it's a it's, it's a great chassis. Um, it has an awesome finish on it. I mean, it's almost like a mirror. So uh, we'll see how it does. And uh, uh, real quick, I just want to just kind of go over a few, you know, some of the new upgrades here from, from Mitch and, you know, what I recommend for, you know, for, for uh, mega bashing. Uh, you know, for guys that just want to beef up their rigs, um, I'm going to be putting all this on my old Typhon. Um, my V4 already has uh, all these upgrades, and it's it's been tested, and everything's held up. There's been no bends, no breaks. So I guess I'd go ahead and, uh, and dress this one up with it. Uh, first off, we've got the shock towers. These are beautiful towers. Uh, he has really paid attention to detail uh, down to the etching and stuff. Um, of course, they're thickened in the center, uh, so it you know, keeps them from bending uh, and also keeps them, you know, as lightweight as possible. You know, you, you don't want to weigh your rig down, you know, with, with too much, you know, with, with too many heavy parts. So that's, uh, you know, a very nice thing that he's uh, done that. So it, you know, it, it covers the weak points of the tower while keeping it lightweight at the same time. And also the pillow ball retainer nuts. Um, these things are really cool. Uh, he's designed the uh, threads where they lock down, um, and you can uh, pretty much put it on with your finger. Um, and it's got the Delrin bushings. Uh, you run these in, you know, a little past halfway, and they start to lock down. And then uh, it just creates a really snug fit, so they don't come loose on you. And of course the chassis braces. Uh, you know, he's he's got the front rears uh, for the Creighton, Outcast, and Typhon now. Um, so I'm gonna be putting those on here. And also the shock standoff, the shock standoff screws. This is a huge upgrade. This is probably my uh, favorite thing so far. Uh, this is the uh, new design where it comes with the um, a four millimeter uh, set screw that's been JB welded into the standoff, and it's a stainless steel standoff. And then it's got your uh, your four mil uh, lock nut that goes on the back side of the tower to really lock it down. And if you crank that down tight, I mean you will you, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, I haven't had any problems with these busting or bending or anything. And that was always a huge problem of mine was uh, busting the shock standoffs. So um, anyway, uh, and real quick too, he's also going to be coming out uh, with uh, with the suspension blocks. Uh, he's got that in the works now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, different design, so we're going to be anxious to see uh, how that looks. And I'll be putting all the uh, uh, links um, and part numbers in the description, uh, you know, along with the website, so you can just uh, check that out. And uh, all right, we're going to get this baby equipped and see how she does. All right, guys, got the Typhon out here. Uh, she's all uh, fixed up in the M2C attire. I um, mean, this looks absolutely beautiful. Um, again, the chassis looks really cool in the sun. <laughs> I got the shock towers on it, um, the shock standoffs, the uh, rear brace, uh, the pillow bar retainer nuts. So pretty much I uh, tore this truck down and just uh, rebuilt it back with, with all the uh, M2C stuff. So um, we'll uh, give it a quick rip, so I'll see what's up. That was a little rough. Oh, the body came up. Oh! <laughs> oh, I gotta fix that body post. All right, I just uh, wrapped some uh, some uh, Gorilla tape around it real quick just to kind of hold it down. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do real quick to make a quick fix, but I'm gonna have to pull that top plate off in order to uh, run another screw inside that um, body mount. So. Oh, God. Oh, I took the wing off. All right, guys, I decided to change locations. Uh, that spot was just way too wet and, and uh, it was real soft sand and having really bad traction roll and uh, terrible run-ups to the ramp. So I'm just gonna come out here and just play around for a little bit. 
I'm just going to, I'll probably keep the video short. I just want to get a, just a quick little run in. All right, see what's up. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh. Oh man, it almost nailed that curb. Oh, that would have been rough. All right, guys, let's give her a quick check. Yeah, chassis still looks straight, so that's good. She's uh, taking a you know a few hard uh, tumbles and stuff. So, uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, mega field sand here. Why not, right? Oh, I came in kind of steep. <laughs> Woo! Man, that was close. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. Oh. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, looks like I lost my wing again. Yep, another wing mount. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call it, guys. This it's really cold out here, so I, of course, my wing mounts don't usually hold up in the cold too well on these hard hits. So, anyway, looks like the chassis has uh, lost a couple of screws in my rear diff right here. I'm gonna have to replace this diff case. I mean, it's an old diff case. It's probably been on there three years. <laughs> Can't keep the screws in it so but the chassis still looks straight and it uh, withstood some pretty hard rolls some uh pretty fast launches off the ramp and uh i'm uh, thoroughly impressed great job mitch you've uh done it again so well everything else is held up so um big shout out to uh mitch from m2c once again and uh arma and uh we'll see you guys next time rc dude 81 peace out